my name is Carlos Mota. I am an artist from New York and from Colombia. We are now at my installation uh, Patriots, Citizens, Lovers, which is uh, the work that I produced with uh, the funds received by the 2014 Future Generation Art Prize. The core of it is a series of uh, 10 interviews with 11 LGBT activists in uh, Ukraine. These people are people that have been very actively engaged with uh, challenging uh, society's discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Uh, they work uh, as activists in different capacities, some working from uh, NGO organizations and institutions, uh, others working independently, um, others working as journalists or uh, entertainments and television and the radio. I was interested in uh, understanding the ways in which the current political, economic and social situation in Ukraine has affected the work of these activists. I wanted to um, have this open conversation to understand what have been the challenges that these activists and LGBT communities at large have been facing in, in the last few years. For example, Yuri here, Yuri Frank, is a transgender activist that is um, associated with the NGO Insight. And Yuri is telling very much about the ways in which transgender uh, lives become uh, an obstacle in Ukrainian society. Uh, Yuri is telling about stories of people that have to flee eastern Ukraine at the moment because of their gender identity, because of specific degrees of, of um, gender transition, their appearance doesn't correspond anymore to their uh, national ID cards and the ways in which the military and the police harass them and in many ways are, are actually even also prosecuted by extrem ext extremist groups um, and ultra-radicals. Oksana, for instance, is also a transgender activist from eastern Ukraine and Oksana moved to Kiev to practice law uh, and through the practice of law has been trying to influence the ways in which certain articles um, have been not beneficial for the rights of uh, transgender people. So there is going to be a, a certain kind of intervention, uh, activist intervention in the law to be able to have um, uh, more rights. We also have Maxime Eristavi, for instance, who is an openly gay activist working and reporting about political, economic, social, but also about LGBT issues um, in Ukraine. And Maxime is telling about the ways in which the media fails to report in a responsible way about the life um, and the politics of these communities. We also have uh, Yelena, for example, who is uh, the uh, executive director also of NGO Insight, who is speaking about a new kind of focus on trans, feminist, queer uh, bodies, not necessarily giving uh, preeminence to gay lives that in a way have been covered by, by certain organizations, but thinking about a more feminist approach to think about a politic that, that considers gender difference as, as something that needs to be revisited in Ukraine. We also have uh, um, Alexander, for instance, who's talking about the ways historically in which the LGBT movement in um, Ukraine has been formed. Uh, and like that, many other um, activists that are sharing the, 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 the rough work they're doing, both on the ground, theoretically, uh, trying to intervene government policy, uh, but also very much to change uh, society's attitudes regarding sexual gender difference.